In this review of Melolink by Brenson Tay on the Warrior Plus platform, I will show you the true bond and sales page so you can stop buying products like Melolink and stop wasting your hard earned money on these type of products. I will be showing you inside the members area and share what's inside this product so you can see exactly what you're getting as well as all the OTOs and the total cost. I bought a copy of this product myself to try it out and I will explain to you in details why product like Melink are the time wasters for new affiliate marketers and may not be the solution to making money online that you're looking for. This review of Melolink is based on my personal experience and opinion only and I will share with you my experience so you can make a wise buying decision as to whether or not you should buy Melolink. Hi there, welcome to my channel. My name is Serge. On this channel, I give out tips and do reviews about products for you that I think are legit or useless for new marketers for making money online. If you're trying to make money online as a new affiliate marketer, then I have my number one recommended training that's honest and free in the link in the description below. This training has over 90 plus hours of step-by-step -step video tutorials that are incredibly detailed and simple, showing you exactly how to build a real evergreen business online which brings in traffic, leads, and sales. So go ahead and click the link below. You won't regret it. It is 100% free, 100% beginner friendly, and 100% awesome. And you're going to love it. Trust me, it's a no-brainer. While you're down there, if you're not yet a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell so you know when I put out my list, tip, and review video. Don't forget to smash the like button and leave a comment. This will help significantly with the algorithm to make great videos like these for you, okay? And now, let's begin. So, what is Melolink? So, no matter what you see and read on the sales page here, Melolink is pretty much none of that. I'm not going to walk you through the sales page. I'm just going to let you know exactly what Melink is. And Melink is a gimmicky software that is scraping emails all over the internet as buyer leads so you can go and spam them, which is totally ineffective to get you sales. Obviously, that's not what they tell you on the sales page, but I'm going to prove to you that is exactly what I say it is when I show you what's inside. But first, let me point out something about the sales page that you might not have realized. One of my recent reviews was a product by the same product vendor and on that sales page they listed the profit made by their beta testers. So how can a different set of beta testers make the same exact amount on this product which matches the last product? Okay, look at this. 27 newbies here, here's 21 newbies, and numbers match, all the way, look at that, 446, 964, 446, 964. So how can a different set of beta testers make the same exact amount on this product which matched the last product. That is highly unlikely unless these numbers are to mislead you, the new marketer. But anyway, let's jump inside the members area. Here we are inside the members area of Melolink. And to the left, you will see a bunch of categories for the product's features. But right now we are currently looking at the dashboard and the dashboard, you'll see the latest deals for JVZoo and as well as the latest deals from ClickBank. However, if you look at these dates, you will see that these products may be outdated because today, as the day of this recording, today is uh, the 25th of July. So today is July 25th. And these products, let's see, for JVZoo, the latest deal from JVZoo is called Profile Mate on 18 July. So let's go on JVZoo and see if these products 
let's say one, two, three, are the same products currently on JVZoo today. So here we are on JVZoo, and as you can see, the product listed on dashboard are not here. So here are the products on JVZoo, the current products on JVZoo, and here are the product on the mail link da dashboard. So let me refresh the page so you guys see that it is current. See, same thing, right? Nothing changed. It's the same product here. And let's go back on JVZoo. I'm going to refresh this. All right. So let's see if anything changes. All right. Same thing. There it is. Same exact thing. Nothing else changed. Same product. I don't know if you guys noticed the page change, so I'm gonna click on different category here. So I'm gonna click on what's hot. So you can see the guy, so you guys can see that the page changed to different to the different products. And now I'm gonna click to top sellers. And let's see. To, sh to show you guys what product shows up as the top deals here. See? Bingo. So these products are the latest deal from JVZoo, which doesn't match the mail link dashboard. So to me, this dashboard really doesn't serve any value. And I bet that they were hoping that you don't know that. Now let's go to the trainings. And here we have the training modules. And on the right, we can see the sections here. We have about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight training modules. Nothing special here. Now let's go check out the second category, which is fine offers. As you can see, we have offers here for JVZU deals right here. And underneath that we have for Warrior Plus deals. And we also got ClickMate deals. So in the future, I will make videos on how to find the right product to promote on all these platforms. So make sure if you're not yet a subscriber, click on ahead and subscribe and click on the notification bell so you don't miss out on that video. If it's now right in the description. And now let's go on the category I really want to focus on the most to prove my point earlier, and that's to get leads. Let's click on that. Now here's the part I have a serious issue with Merrill Link with. First, they give you the offers, right? They give you the dashboard where you have to find the offers, the Warrior Plus, ClickBank, JVZoo, and now you're trying to get you the leads or the buyers, right? Now if you go here, it gives you a selection of, of places where they're going to scrape to find emails for you so if you put a keyword here let's say if i put affiliate and i go to analyze you will see that a bunch of emails come here with the keyword affiliate right so you see all these emails i think got like what a total of about 50 yeah 50 emails shows up here and if i press affiliate analyze analysis again it will give you a whole different list of emails now you might think, okay, if I put a keyword, this, these emails are associated with that keyword, right? Affiliate. You're probably interested in this, in affiliate. However, that's not the case. Let's see if I put my name search, right? Let's put, let's try, let's analyze this. Now you're going to tell me that all these people are interested in search. Okay. So this, so this software here. It's just scraping the internet for whatever. Now let's put, for example, let's put the letter A, just A, and analyze it. Still, a bunch of emails shows up. Let's put the number zero. All right. Still, email shows up. Let's put a bunch of random stuff. Let's put this. Analy analysis. Still, you're gonna get. <laughs> You're gonna get uh, a bunch of these emails, right? Wherever they come from. If uh, I don't know if they really come from Google, Facebook, and Bing, and so forth, and Wiki. So these emails are gonna show no matter what. The only time it doesn't sh doesn't show anything is when it's, when the keyword is blank. So you have to put some in there, or else you get this error message. So just put something. You can put just one, and just click on analysis, and it's gonna show up a bunch of emails, about 50 emails. So if you keep pressing it, you keep getting 50 more. Now, what I just showed you, do you think these leads are good leads? 
right? If you can put any word here and then it's going to show up with the emails, do you think these are good leads? If you're trying, if you're trying to uh, find buyers to make sales, do you think these are good leads? No, they're not good leads because you, one, you don't know where these leads are coming from. And two, they do not know you. And three, and the biggest deal is, is that this could be, this is called email scraping or email harvesting. And this has a big issue here, depending where you live. I'm going to show you a few resources about why email harvesting is not good. So here's one source here from Sim Blaster it says email harvesting was wrong and how it can hurt your business. So this uh, article talks about email harvesting known as scraping emails and addresses. It says email harvesting involves a number of different methods, but one of the most common involves the buying and training or already compiled list of email addresses obtained through scraping, which is what MailerLink does. Now, this is another portion of this article. It says, at first glance, scraping emails addresses can seem like a fast way to build a list of contacts, but there are many reasons why this is not a good idea. For starters, harvesting emails in this way is illegal in many countries, including the United States, and in fact, the Can Spam Act of 2003 specifically prohibits this practice. Okay, so we're going to talk about the Can Spam Act next, but let's go down to the risk. The email harvesting risk. If you ignore the risk and choose to build an email list through scraping, you face a number of significant risks. Some of these risks could hurt your reputation of your business, while others could actually put you out of business. And here's a bunch of risk here. Okay. So go ahead and read those, pause the video and read those so you know why to not try the method that Melnick is promoting for you to try to, to find your buyers to, to, to make sales. That method is not effective unless you want to go out of business and not make sales. Now let's look at another resource, which is Conwell Law School and it talks about the Ken Spam Act and it says that on uh, Section 5B of the Can Spam Act of 2003, address certain techniques used by spammers that weren't identified as Congress in 2003 as being particularly problematic. Subject in, in, subjecting individuals who use these techniques to enhance legal penalties. Okay, these problematic techniques prohibit the act of addressing, uh, sorry, address harvesting. So what is address harvesting? Let's go down. Address harvesting compromise the activity of obtaining email addresses for the purpose of sending spam by using an automatic or an automatic address gathering program or process from a website or propriety online service that has a policy of not sharing its users email and dictionary attack so basically this is what mail link is it just basically told you what mail link is doing this is what is going on especially if you if you are in the united states and you're doing this, know that you are breaking the Cam Spam Act. Okay, and that comes with some penalties here. So if you do not want your business to fail before you even start, don't do it. All right, don't, don't do what MetaLink is proposing you do. Now, if you want to know what the actual Cam Spam Act article looks like, the actual law, and here it is, you can go right through it and read it for yourself. It has a lot of detail about why they don't want anybody to commit fraud, which is what email harvesting is. So if you have the time and you are very um, analytical, and you want to read this, I will put this and all the resources in the link in the description below. Now back to my link here, the next category is a page builder. And here's the page builder or template for page builder. And from what I see, if you guys really want a page builder for free, you guys can actually go to Aweber because Aweber you can create a free account with Aweber. Aweber has a email or responder or right integrated so that you're able to use your page builder as a landing page to get leads. This is why I recommend going to Aweber instead of using MailLink because with MailLink, if you go down to uh, email marketing, here 
you need to know how to set these up, right? As a new marketer, you probably don't know what to do with email API setting with SMTP and all that stuff for the email campaign and all that, okay? So you have to set all this up so that it can work with the page builder here. But with Aweber, all that's the right stuff for you with just for your account. So that's why I recommend using Aweber instead of going with MailLink and you as a, and you as a new marketer don't know all this. This is not a beginner friendly product if you have to set up things that other companies or other services provide for you already done for you easily and it works and thousands and thousands of people have used it before. There's one more resource that I want to add for you guys when it concerns the Ken Spam Act of 2003 and that's regarding emails and how does emails and the compliance for emails falls into that. So here was his senior behavior compliances, right? It says a message that cannot be sent without an unscribe option, right? That's by the Can Spam Act. Message that cannot cannot be sent through a harvested email, Can Spam Act. False header, uh, at least one sentence. Unscription below should be below the message. So all that falls under the Can Spam Act. Also, there's a criminal offenses here. Let's see. Another tool of Metalink is the image creator. And if you take a look at it, you will see that some of these images come multiple times. If you guys are looking for an uh, image creator, then the, the one that I always recommend is Canva. Canva is the best uh, template design I ever use, and I love it. I use it for, for almost everything. So Canva is a free uh, software and a website where you can create all the images you want for free. This is where I will tell you guys to go for the best image creator software, and that's Canva. Now let's jump to all the OTOs and all the total costs with all these upgrades. So the front end product, Mailer Link, comes at a price of $17, or you can get it for the downsell price of $13. The next OTO, OTO number one, is the Mailer Link first 1,000 payments for $26.95 or you can get that for the down sale of $22.95. The next OTO is unlimited for $47 or you get it at the down sale price of $37. The next OTO is done for you at $197 or you can get it at the down sale price of $97. The next OTO is monetization at $97 or you get that at the down sale price of $47. The next OTO is the franchise partner license, and that comes at $497, or you can get that for just $97. The next OTO is the missing piece for $97, or you get the down sale, or you can get the missing piece for the down sale price of $47. The next OTO is the limitless traffic for $167, or you can get that for just $67. All in all, the total price comes out between $427.95 on the low end and $1,145.95 on the high end. So what is my final decision about MetaLink? And I want to say that if you're a new marketer, I understand that you could be frustrated and you want to make money fast, okay? But there's better ways to go about it than using this product, which is pretty much breaking a lot of uh, laws here. If you're going to do affiliate marketing, you need to know the laws, okay? You need to know the rules to do affiliate marketing. And MailLink seem to be not paying attention or is willing to have its customers violate these laws. So I would say that it's best for you to avoid MailLink. Don't buy it and just stay away from it because there's going to be more headache in the long run than it is going to be in the short run. I don't know if you're going to make sales from it. Most likely not. But 
if you're going to be spamming, uh, most likely your business will be shut down. Okay, because no one likes spam, and nobody's going to open the email if they don't know where it's coming from. If they didn't ever opt in your email list or opt in for your offer, then most likely they're going to put you in the spam box. Okay, or in the spam folder, they're going to put you in the spam folder. So it's best for you to look for alternative products if you're serious about making money online. And go ahead and check the link in the description if you're looking for a, a great training that's free, that's 100% newbie friendly, and also awesome. So do not buy this product, avoid this product, and that's it. As you can see guys, I have been as detailed as I can be in this review of Metalink. And I want to remind you again to click on the link below and check out the free training because I know where you guys are in your journey. And I know some of you guys are totally fed up with buying shiny objects and worthless OTOs over and over. So if you have anything specific that you want to ask me or you want me to review, then go ahead and leave a comment below and ask me. Also, if you got value from this review, then please do hit subscribe and ring on the bell so I have because I have a lot of free tutorials and make money online tips to share with you in the future. Check out these videos next so you know when not to waste your hard earned money on shiny objects. Thank you so much for your time and I'll see you again in the next video.